When we purchased this home, we realized after we bought it, unfortunately, that the floor had sunk considerably. It was hidden by carpet and padding, and uh, it was too late. We had already closed. We decided to live with this problem, and we cut baseboards to fit the curve of the floor in several of the rooms to hide the gap. And 18 years later, it sank a little bit more, maybe you know an eighth of a sixteenth of an inch. But that little bit on top of already much it sank was a problem because it was creating undue stress on the walls and there was new cracks forming that were getting bigger. So I figured I had to do something and I called somebody a long time ago and they were explaining some things that they could do to my slab or put pilings in it. It all was very destructive to the inside um, of my home. They would have had to cut big holes in the floor, I, mud jacking, pin pilings, and it would have ruined. I have a 1952 house with beautiful terrazzo floors and I didn't want to destroy the integrity of the floors. So. Recently, I was just searching again and I found this process where they put foam under the slab and I was amazed that this could possibly work and only have a dime-sized hole put in my floor appealed to me. So I called and um, they called me right back and we spoke about what my issue was and we set up an appointment and Carlos came out and uh, pretty much assured me that you would be able to raise the floor with this kind of process. So I. Uh, I guess signed on the dotted line and got the ball rolling. They were great. I, I really liked when they came out and they taped everything up with Visqueen and made sure to protect everything and actually scraped some more foam out from under the wall because when I moved in, I had sprayed foam under the gap to seal it up before I put the baseboard and I got most of it out, but they actually saw some pieces and got that out as well. Um, and I like that he demonstrated what the foam was. He took a black plastic bag and sprayed the foam in the bag and I got to watch it expand and I could really see what was going on. And also when they drilled the holes, they put a camera under my slab and I was able to see how far the ground had sunk. There was places where it was seven inches below my slab. So I had like a big cavity. So that was interesting to see too. So, um, and he was talked to me though. I asked him a bunch of questions because I'm very curious when something like this is going on and he answered them all and, and we had a good time. I was still a little skeptical because I just didn't know if this was really going to work. And when the two gentlemen came out and explained that for sure, you know, not 100%, but at least they could stabilize it, which was also something. I mean, even if it didn't raise that much, the fact that they could stabilize it and stop it from sinking was also appealing to me too. I mean, my ultimate goal was to raise the floor because it had sunk much too much. And I was here for the entire time, watched them do the whole process and was amazed. And I put it all over Facebook and literally it took a while, but watched my floor go up to the level, almost the level that it was at when it was built, which is super fantastic that in my office, I'm not rolling downhill anymore in my chair and, and furniture isn't crooked and I had spacers underneath everything because the floor was sloped so much. It was almost two inches that it went down. So um, that's my experience and I'm very happy that it was done with minimal disruption to my home. My floor is completely level, which not completely, I'm gonna say maybe it slopes an eighth of an inch as opposed to two inches, which is completely within the realm of a house that was built in 1952. Um, it has increased the value of my house because I feel if I went to sell it and anybody walked in this home and saw that slope, they would immediately have a problem and I would lose value. And um, so that has increased the value of my house, rectifying that serious structural problem. And my quality of life in the room that the floor had sunk is incredible. So <laughs> I'm on a level playing field, so to speak.